I'm Luciana. I'm the social media marketing trainer at KCBT, uh, Keystone College, for those who are not familiar with the initials. Uh, and today I'm here to talk about the importance of having a good audit on your social media channels. All right, so starting with Facebook, for example, you want to make sure that your Facebook page looks as professional as possible. It's starting from your profile picture, you want to have a clear image in a good resolution that's easier to meet the eye. You know that people will look at it and already know that's about your brand. On your cover photo, you don't want to put a lot of text on it. You want to keep it clean, especially you know with a nice image that is related to your business, to what you do. Or you can even use it to do a call to action. You know, ask a question, uh, give your contact, or maybe use it to showcase what products and services you offer, maybe with a video or a slideshow. So it's really up to you, but make sure that's clear, okay? Don't put a lot of text because Facebook will not uh, show your page to many people if you do that. So we talked about profile, we talked about cover. So going down a little bit, you see on your right hand side, there is the about a section. That section is precious as well. So on that section, you want to explain in a few words what your company it is about, but also what makes your business important. What makes you different from the others? What are your USPs, unique selling points? So make sure as well that you have a website and a phone number. And if you work in business hours or specific hours, keep that up to date to increase traffic and to take people from your page to your website or landing page where you can actually convert them into customers. So going to the feed, on your left hand side you also have the tabs and on your top if you are the admin you can see there is a button called settings. On that settings you can click there and go through templates and you can actually edit the tabs that show on your left side. That's super important because for example if you're offering a consultancy service you don't need to have a tab called shop. Right? It's just going to misguide your audience. So you want to make that tab as personalized as possible. The same with your button. If you want people to call you, why should you leave your button as message cards? Okay? So make sure you use your buttons and your tabs in your about a session to drive people to conversion. Okay? To make them take an action. Get in contact with you. Going to the feed. It's really, really important to follow Facebook size for images. So make sure your images are square. I all, it's always good to check what the exact size of the image is required. However, if you put um, 1200 by 1200 pixels, you should be fine, okay? Just as a rule of thumb. Um, make sure you follow a pattern on your images. Make sure you keep consistent on your posts. If you're gonna post once a week, three times a week, seven times a week, two eight times a week, make sure you keep consistent. Um, and instead of just keeping short posts that no one will actually interact or just doing hard sales, trying to push, 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 keep a balance, all right? Try and do it as 8% brand awareness or consideration where you give more information, valuable information to your customers and just 20% of actually promotions and offerings, what we call hard sales, okay? So if you keep that button on your page, you're doing well. Therefore, if you're doing an audit on a customer page, on a friend's page or I don't know, someone in a family that has a Facebook page and wants you to have a look at that, make sure that page is following the same patterns that I just explained here and you'll be fine. Okay, thank you, bye.